doing? <laughs> Jesus. I've used both NeoVim and Doom Emacs for almost a couple of years now, and I genuinely enjoy both of them. I use NeoVim for configuration files mostly, just because it's super easy to type in nvim and then example.txt, whatever file you want to open. It's super easy to open it right within your terminal with NeoVim. Now Doom Emacs, the Emacs version that I use, is used for long form writing. Okay, so for like video scripts like this, that's how I write my scripts. And that's because of org mode. Org mode is just fantastically beautiful. The organization, the formatting, the structure that it gives you, it's just it's just genuinely a great tool. You see Linux and NeoVim, Emacs, text editor, you know, the, the world of Linux and all of these amazing open source tools, they're not just for the neckbeard developers on the Arch Linux forms, okay? Many different types of people use these tools. Obviously developers, which I am not one, uh, mathematicians, writers, hell, they even have a plugin for NeoVim that allows you to write sheet music. So musicians could use NeoVim. I mean, that's, that's just pretty cool. Now, like I said, I use both NeoVim and Doom Emacs because of org mode, but I have often wondered, what if I could get org mode right into NeoVim? Because I love being able to open my terminal and jump into like a config file with NeoVim, right? Now, if I'm going to write something long form, I have to open up Doom Emacs. And granted, it's not, it doesn't take long. It's just like opening a terminal. But I would still like to contain all of my my writing and stuff into under one umbrella, right? So instead of having NeoVim and Emacs, I want to try and get org mode in NeoVim. Now granted, if you were to run Emacs from within a terminal with the flags NW, you can actually get like a TUI style uh, Emacs right within your terminal. But the thing with that is, that I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but my cursor doesn't change when in uh, like visual mode and insert mode. If you use NeoVim uh, or Doom Emacs in this case, you'll know what I'm talking about. But that cursor doesn't change whenever I go into insert mode, and that's kind of weird. Granted, I could get over that, but that's just kind of like a mental thing that when my cursor goes from a block to just the... Um, what is it, the little bar thing or I forgot. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But it doesn't change, and I don't like that. Another thing is, to be able to do that, I still have to have Emacs installed on my system. And I'm trying to cut down on bloat. And so I'm trying to get Emacs completely off of my system. So I need a full org mode replacement, right? Because I can't give up org mode, but I want to get rid of Emacs. Now, when I started thinking about this, I realized, like, man, the open source community is just awesome. So I'm assuming that there has to be a plugin for org mode. There is. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? There's this plugin right here, and ya boy just couldn't figure it out. I told you, I'm not a fucking developer, okay? What the hell is a parser error? I, I, I don't know what all this stuff is, okay? Granted, I like using all of these tools and stuff, but I don't know a shit ton about it, okay? So I don't know what parser errors are and how to write in Lua and I don't I just it didn't work out for me all right I needed something as simple as uh, Emacs or at least the installation and everything I needed to be able to install something easily without much work and be able to start writing in org mode okay that wasn't doing it with that plugin but because of that plugin, I found out about another plugin called Neorg. This little plugin is so cool, and it gives me that org mode right within my terminal. Granted, it's not org mode, so I am leaving org mode behind technically. Now, what is Neorg? Neorg is an all-encompassing tool based around structured note-taking, project and task management, time tracking, slideshows, writing typeset documents, and much, much more. The premise is that all of these features are built on top of a single base file format, .norg, which the user only has to learn once to gain access to all of Neorg's functionality. So basically, Neorg is just org mode for NeoVim. Except for it's not, because it's Neorg, right? 
but pretty much what you can do with org mode you can do with neorg now i will be the first to say that what i show you in this video is not even compared to what you can do with neorg i'm assuming again i just need something simple where i can organize my notes with headers bullet points that kind of structuring right i don't need much i honestly could probably do without any of these fucking applications and just go use some simple gui application but no here i am making my life a struggle because I like to be different. Now, if you're like a super smart person, you could install this and configure your own configuration file, but I just did their little quick start here. They have basically like a um, Neorg for Dummies installation where you just copy and paste this little sample Lua config into your configuration file and it'll get you started. That's literally all I did because I didn't want to go dive into the rabbit hole of configuring my own config file. Not yet, at least. All right, I got, I got so many burners on the oven right now that I'm trying to do and learn that adding another thing to that list will just probably make my head disintegrate. So if you want to be able to use New York just very quickly and easily without any headache jump over to their github page follow these easy five steps and you will be on your way to using neorg but of course if you go down here you can there's so much more documentation and everything it really tells you step by step how to get this thing together if you really want to do your own config file uh, and I will do that eventually in the future, but for right now, I just needed something to replace org mode for me, and throwing that sample Lua config in my config file, or my init.lua, it works perfectly fine. All I did was change the color scheme, and other than that, I haven't touched anything in there, and it works right out of the box. So let's actually jump over to the computer and I wanted to show you what Neorg looks like in the terminal. If you have any idea of what org mode looks like, then you probably, uh, well, then you'd have an idea of what Neorg looks like. Nonetheless, let's jump over to the terminal and check it out. So, all right, I just wanted to open up a terminal really quick, show you guys what a Neorg file looks like and kind of how it's structured. Again, if you've ever used org mode, then you'll be able to do this, or you'll know how to use it, right? So if we just do nvim, um, what is neorg.norg, hit enter, and this is all you see, right? Now, if you know what an org file is, or if you've ever used an org file, you'll know that a pound and plus will give you the ability to either add, you know, title, tags, the date. So if I just go title here, then I can put in what is New York or something like that, right? Date, and we'll say, what is it? So 11, 28, 2023, tags whatever you would want right um neorg org mode neovim just throw a couple of tags in there and that's basically it right that's how you would format a uh, a norg file at least i'm pretty sure that's that's how i do it at least and now you can see here that if we do an asterisk we've got header one now now you can write things if you want You've of course got header two. The only thing is, is I don't know why they would make header two that same magenta color as header one. Nonetheless, the indentation is correct. So you can see from a glance that that is header two. We've got header three, header four, header five, And then of course, header six. Oh, what is that? One, two, three, yeah, that's six. Now, of course you can go past six, but there's only about six headers that you would use for like markdown. Um, I think six is is like the normal, or as high, you, as high as you would go in like markdown or HTML, you know, that kind of thing. 
Um, if you were to continue on past the sixth header, it will just be blue from there on out. From what I've seen, I went up to like nine. Um, but that's your headers, of course. You can, of course, make bullet points, right? So list one, list two, if you needed to create a list, uh, list three. Of course, you can, it's it's basically the same as, as a markdown, right? So anything that you can do in markdown, you can do with this. And that's the same as like org mode. So you could create the headers, bullet points, um, bold text, right? So with just an asterisk, this is bold text. And another one at the end that is bold text, of course. For some reason, though, it will not italicize your words. So usually like in Markdown, if you were to do two asterisks, or actually I think, I believe one asterisk is italicized, and then two asterisks is bold, and then three is bold italics. But for some reason, it only has bold text on New York. Which, granted, I don't use bold or italics very much. Um, I do here and there, but it's really just for me anyway. So, yeah. I don't know if this is something they're planning on putting, but it is kind of odd to me that they don't have italics or bold italics in here. All right, so those are basically the main features of Neorg. Again, I'm sure there's a lot more that you can do with it, especially when you get into actual coding and developing and whatnot with like syntax, highlighting. And there's probably a lot of features that I did not go over just because, I mean, this is specifically for an org mode replacement for me. And what I did with org mode was just long form writing. I wasn't doing any coding or anything like that. So again, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I don't even know that Neorg can do. Um, but this is kind of just like a, a, a high level view of what Neorg is and what I use it for. What you saw today, just the headers and uh, the bullet points, things like that. That's pretty much all I used in org mode as well. And so jumping over to Neorg was really simple and now I can do it right from my terminal so I really enjoy it honestly it's it's nice for me I like it uh, let me know down in the comments if you've you know if you're gonna check it out all right everybody well that was the video I hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far man do I really appreciate that it really means a lot let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard of New York or if you're planning on using it or if this is the first time, you know, that you've heard of it and you're thinking about trying it because of this video. Let me know down in the comments. Hell, even let me know if you use org mode on Doom Emacs or Emacs. You know, let me know what you guys use to either edit config files or write long form writing or whatever you do. Let me know what kind of applications or programs that you guys use down below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button because it really helps out the channel way more than you know. If you want to stay up to date with me outside of YouTube, you could always follow me on Twitter or Mastodon. My links are always down below for that. You can, of course, support the channel by heading over to our Patreon or our Ko-fi. Also got a blog, just a little blog that I like to do uh, over at tlf.bearblog.dev. Again, the link is in the description if you want to check that out as well. And also consider subscribing because we have a bunch more content coming your way.